Hey, Emily. Mm -hmm. And just to kind of further illustrate our commitment to this, the LIDAR mapping that's going on right now, while it will eventually be funded through this grant, right. uh, the city of El Alto, <coughs> in order to get it done, stroked a check for 130 grand so we could go ahead and get it done. Yeah, pay for pay for it front. Right. Yeah. And we so. also helped to get the grant. Emily did. Yeah. Emily. Yeah. Did. Emily did to the Fort Tilt and the other county okay. crook. Yes. Right. So. Well, we're finding out of this. I mean, there's there's a lot of resources, and it's overwhelming when you think about it just yourself. I mean, I've heard people say there's a hundred year event. What can you do about it? That's just what's happening. But I guess the way that we look at it is, yes, it could be a 100-year event, it could be a, a larger event or smaller, but there's things that we can do that are better. And so we want to find out what resources are there. And for us, it was wonderful because we now have gotten LIDAR for all of Miles County. We're fixing to get LIDAR for Cook and Tips. Um, and when you hear the communities, they're all just as concerned, but we're all strapped for funding. Um, and these three will be paid for completely. Um, and of course, available to anyone. I mean, it's public information, so it's not going to be just like you have to, for us or you have to pay for it. It is it's free information. Um, we did make sure that when I worked out the specs that it would be um, consistent with Florida's data as well because we wanted to make sure that whatever we had would be compatible. So um, so it's, it's nice to see that. It's finally um, nice to see kind of some of that momentum and start seeing things happen.